How's it going everyone? Virtually Chris here. Welcome to another open pilot video and man it has been a while since I've done my last open pilot video and let me tell you open pilot has gotten a lot better in those months that I have been away so today we are trying out open pilot 0.6 for the very first time. This version has a new model that is roughly twice the size of the old model in terms of the field of view so open pilot can really see a lot more understand a lot more and it seems to just do a lot better. Uh, I haven't actually drove it yet, so we're finding out here for the first time together how it drives. And I say right off the bat, it feels really smooth. Uh, we're using the RAV4 Hybrid today. Toyotas usually have not the best steering, but actually this isn't too bad. I'm gonna turn down the AC a little bit. All right, so here we're probably gonna have to take over. There's no lane lines over here until we get past this intersection. Uh, so now that we have lane lines again, we should be all set. And I've never seen Open Pilot take a turn like this before. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Yeah, that's never even happened before. The model didn't used to be able to make those kinds of turns before. That's super crazy. So this is something I'd only see on a Toyota or a car with really high torque. I know the Honda Civic, which is my other car, does not actually have that much torque. Wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, but on a highway, they should perform pretty similarly. 0.6 is all about stability improvements and overall just being a better experience. So with the new model, obviously, that makes a huge difference uh, with driving. Uh, we've been using the old model for a while now, and that model already was very good on highway. This one seems to take it a little bit of a step further with some better lane line tracking, and it can actually handle some more curves, which is super nice. So there's no way it's going to make this turn, at least I don't think. So we're going we're gonna to take over here on the on-ramp. Actually, it might have done that, to be honest with you. Let's engage it here and see what happens. And keep in mind, Open Pilot's never been able to do something like this before. Really hasn't. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That was pretty smooth, too. So let's start getting up to speed here, because we are entering onto a highway. Once again, let's see how it does on a curve like this. Now, that is really impressive. I've never seen that before in a car with Open Pilot. All right, merging onto the highway here. Getting our speed up to roughly 65. All right, we're on the highway. So we're having a really slight bank right now and it seems like the steering wheel is actually pretty solid, which is really good because on the RAV4 Hybrid especially, it was pretty jerky with the steering. That's mostly due to the pretty bad steering angle sensor on Toyota cars. Actually, the new Toyota cars are actually fantastic. So if you get like a 2020 with TSS P2.0, uh, you're gonna have just an amazing time with open pilot but yeah this this car is a little bit older so it doesn't have the best steering sensor and uh, the steering is a little bit jerky on a car like this but i'll be honest with you it is a lot better in 0.6 for sure and i haven't even done any custom tuning this is just the stock 0.6 that you get you install on your eon so we have right now also new with 0.6 it didn't try to take that exit at all which is fantastic that's always been a little bit of an annoyance i've had with open pilot using it on my Civic all the time for some long road trips as it would start taking the exits to the right. Uh, but this new model actually pretty much solves that problem entirely, it looks like. So yeah, I mean, this turn is fantastic. Barely any wobble in the steering wheel. Uh, feels really, really solid. And as you can see by the camera on the left, that's hopefully working, uh, that it's actually staying very centered in the lane. This is really impressive. Just the lane centering on curves is dramatically improved for me. Like, take a turn like this, for example. On the older versions, the wheel might start doing this and, like, overcompensating for a curve. Uh, whereas right here, as you can see, it's just dialed in. So, yeah, this is handling it beautifully. I don't think I'm going to have to touch the wheel on a highway at all, which is awesome. The Kama team has really been focusing on making this product a little more consumer-friendly. You know, their website has been redesigned recently looks a lot better. It's really easy to figure out what hardware you need for your car. All you have to do is go on there. You can even select the car that you have. It'll recommend you the right giraffe and, uh, you know, obviously get the Panda and the Eon and then you're good to go. It's pretty plug and play, to be honest with you. Uh, if I can do it, you guys can do it. I remember in my earlier episodes of uh, making a self-driving car before this was a product at all, I had to solder it myself and do all this crazy stuff that I was not good at. But now it's just so easy to get up and running and it works fantastic, it really does. Once again, taking another curve here on the highway, absolutely awesome. And these are the kind of curves that will work on any car with open pilot. So even if you have a Honda or something like that, 
uh, and your highways are have this roughly this amount of curves on them, I think it'll do just fine. Uh, I've, I've had my Civic on this road many, many times going from Maine to Vermont uh, with almost no disengagements, just disengagements when I couldn't make the curve or obviously to change lanes and things like that. But man, I could easily see myself using this to do super long drives super easily. Uh, just the, the lack of wobble on the wheel is really awesome. It feels very confident. This new model feels way more confident than any of the old models I've tried before. And it's just doing a fantastic job of keeping us centered. I haven't had to do a single thing. Oh, this is a really cool road. I think this will be a really nice residential road to try out Open Pilot on. Uh, so let's just get up to speed here. Engaging Open Pilot's as easy as getting up to speed and uh, pressing the button you would press for cruise control. So on the Toyota, it's that. And just like that, we are using Open Pilot. It's handling this road very well. It actually has quite a bit of a crown to it. Uh, so Open Pilot's adjusting for that in a few seconds there, and now it's rock solid on the steering, which is great. Um, increase the top speed a little bit here. But yeah, this is super dialed in. I think 0.6 is definitely a milestone release. I'm sure it's not going to get any coverage or anything like that. Uh, but in the open pilot community, this is going to be a super huge deal uh, when everyone gets 0.6 on their Eons and tries them out in their cars. I think it's a super huge improvement. Let's drop our speed a little bit here. Uh, there's a sign saying there's going to be a curvy road up ahead. We'll see about that. We'll see if open pilot can handle this curve actually increase the speed a little bit all right wow this is crazy look at that centered the whole time that was fantastic and yet again another curve here that curve wasn't ideal it was a little bit a little bit crazy uh, but I take that to be the hill more than anything let's see how it does on a curve like this oh fantastic that's perfect. Top speed goes up to 50, so I'm just going to increase my set speed. It's that easy to change the speed on Open Pilot. Just go up and down on your cruise control stock. I would never imagine using Open Pilot on a road like this before with that kind of turn. Uh, but now it just seems to handle it fantastic. So yeah, now here we are just slowing down to match the speed of the car in front of us. It's just super chill. I could, I could lay back and relax. Obviously keeping my eyes on the road, there is facial monitoring. For example, if I'm pretending to look away, my eyes are actually still on the road here. Uh, but it's going to start beeping at me. As you see, it started beeping at me and it won't let me use the system if I am distracted at all. So it's really important to stay facing forward and uh, observing your surroundings when you're using a system like Open Pilot, like we are here. But other than that, I mean, it's it's pretty freaking impressive, this new version of Open Pilot. Super solid model, and uh, yeah, it's just performing amazing. Wow, we have a pretty steep turn up ahead. I'm not sure how it's gonna handle this one. And it's up on a hill as well. We might have to take over for this. No, didn't have to take over whatsoever. That was perfect. Felt pretty centered in that lane at all times. Man, this is a pretty road. We'll have to make this a frequent test route uh, when we test future versions of Open Pilot and I make future Open Pilot videos. I'll definitely be trying out this route on my Civic later once I get that car back in a few weeks here. It's starting to get to the point where I'd rather have a Toyota just because of this increased torque and the fact that the model is actually taking advantage of having that extra torque available, so the car actually is making some of these turns that it wouldn't even think about making before, which is super duper impressive. The speed limit reduces, but I'm just going to leave my set speed high because Open Pilot follows the speed of the car in front, so as long as these cars slow down and obey the speed limit, I will too. Uh, that's super convenient. On roads like this, I'd probably just set my max way above what it could be, or what it should be, uh, just because there's always going to be a car in front that's guiding the car and guiding the speed that way. I'd say this is the best release of Open Pilot by far. Super high stability, 
super great turning, super great lane centering. On straights, there's basically no steering wobble whatsoever, no matter what car you have, uh, so that's always good. I could see myself using this on highways all the time with absolutely no problems whatsoever. And even on local roads, as long as I'm paying attention. I think it could still do a little bit better when going up or down hills, but to be honest, that's a pretty small use case. There's not that many hills uh, in most places. I know in Vermont, there's quite a bit of hills like a road like this. Uh, but, you know, if you're in California or something like that, I mean, that it's flat. There's clear lane lines everywhere. I don't even think you would have a problem using this system all the time. Yeah, a little bit over the center line there, but once again, I feel like it's just the hills in the model. Uh, when the road's straight, I'm having absolutely no problems at all. With all this being said, if you have a car with lane keep assist and adaptive cruise control and you don't have open pilot, go ahead and check if your car is supported. I'm going to bet that it probably is supported. And in that case, go ahead and try this out for free for 30 days, see if you like it, really. I think it's an amazing system, it's very easy to use. So with all that, I'll see you all in the next open pilot video. It might be on my Civic, it might be another one with this. Let me know if there's anything you want to see with open pilot with this brand new version 0.6. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!